This girl was imprisoned by a widow, and her purpose is to make Jenny her daughter, to make her obedient. The widow Amy put a mysterious potion in the milk, forcing Jenny to drink it. If she didn't drink it, she would be put in a box. Jenny had no choice but to drink it with tears in her eyes. Amy would teach her to play the piano every day. At night, she would take Jenny into her arms. Jenny wanted to escape but never had the chance. Until this day Amy was teaching her how to cook. She happened to see Amy's fingers in the mold. She grabbed the rolling pin and smashed it down. Then she knocked her unconscious with the pin. Jenny ran away but found the door locked. She looked around for the key but couldn't find it. Then she kicked in the basement door and found it locked. She tried to escape through the window, but the glass is too hard to break. Amy finally caught her and knocked her out. When she woke up, she found that she was tied up firmly, and Amy took out the green bag again, looking for new prey on the subway. It's exactly the same as Jenny's experience. Another girl came to Amy's house to deliver the bag, drinking the same coffee, and Jenny heard them talking, started shaking violently, reminding the girl outside that she was about to be murdered. Surprisingly enough, Amy drank the coffee and started to get dizzy. That's when the girl spoke up. She asked Amy if she hadn't thought that she might have been drugged. This had happened to one of her friends. The next moment the girl took off her wig. It turned out to be Jenny's best friend. Under the effect of the drug Amy soon fell asleep. Jenny heard her best friend's voice and started desperately calling for help. And the girlfriend also noticed that there is a secret door behind the piano. When she saw her best friend, Jenny was in tears. She was finally saved. Finally they put Amy in the wooden box.